My name is Bob Stutz. I'm the president of b and Machine in Tallinn, Connecticut. We started in 1986. We've been in business for 23 years. Um, we're primarily a plastic injection mold builder. We started using Mastercam in 1990. Um, we're using it for uh, 3D cavity work as well as programming for our mold bases. And uh, we've since then have always kept up with our Mastercam updates through our reseller. Um, in order to stay with the latest technologies, uh, latest translators for converting files through customers. Over the years, Mastercam support has been exceptional uh, with a lot of the mold cavity work that we've had to do, um, complex shapes, we've always been able to get assistance, um, answer our questions as soon as we had them. The new versions are, are getting exceptionally much better with surfacing, contouring, uh, it just it's a constant learning and it's made easy with the support we have. My name is Fred Arnold. Um, I've been with B&D Machine for about 10 years. Primarily I do a lot of design work. We are mostly a um, plastic injection mold builder and lately that part of the industry has been a bit slow so uh, we've figured we'd pick up some different type of work to diversify ourselves. I did recently take a job, uh, which was just a one-piece prototype. It ended up being, a, it had to be a four-axis machining job. Now, we do have a four-axis machining center, but mostly uh, we use it for building our, our mold bases, which uh, we use it more or less for indexing, not so much full four-axis. So when we did get this job, I uh, contacted Mastercam and asked them if uh, they'd be willing to give us a hand programming this four-axis project that we got. And the next day, a couple of guys came over and they looked over the project with us. And the day after that, we had a program in hand. We were they were showing us the new uh, functions and abilities of the latest version of Mastercam. And it's been it's been going very smoothly. I, I found that the uh, transition to this latest version, with the help uh, of the support of Mastercam and even online tutorials, it's it's been a lot smoother than I expected it to be. So I feel that the latest version of Mastercam is going to be a very strong tool for us to um, venture into new avenues of work. Um, making us more diversified uh, for future projects and uh, I can't say enough about the uh, support and service that we've gotten through through Mastercam. It's been a wonderful experience. Hi Santi, um, I'm the lead programmer at B&D Machine. Uh, I've been using Mastercam for 15 years now. One of the best things about Mastercam that I found is the interface. For me as a programmer I like to have my interface is comfortable to me as possible. I think every program is different. They like to have their own specifics on their desktop. Um, Mastercam X is extremely user friendly when it comes to um, manipulating, customizing your interface, your toolbars, m you know, manipulating things, putting them where you need them on your desktop. Another great thing about Mastercam X that I've seen is each individual window has its own help function. and. Some other systems are difficult to understand the help. Uh, Mastercam is very concise and, and precise, and it's, it's well written, well laid out. So I think a lot of people like to uh, figure things out on their own, and Mastercam makes it a little easier with those help functions. Okay, recently I've had a chance to explore different 3D functions in the newer version of Mastercam X. Um, the smoothing function, the advanced smoothing function, compared to um, the old 3D function and I've found the geometry smooths out much nicer, the finishes on my parts have been much nicer and uh, I, I really believe it's going to save us time in polishing in different areas um, having that function. Um, also, the Mastercam guys have been in here recently and they helped us out with the new machine simulator which I thought was just incredible for the recent job we were doing. Um, they actually came in and they, they took the specs of our machine and they like built a virtual machine, placed the part in the machine, 
And the way we were cutting it with the A-axis, it was very important the A-axis moved the proper way. And sometimes when you're back plotting or verifying something, you really can't tell um, if the axes are running properly. Uh, with the new machine simulator, everything is as clear as day. You can manipulate uh, your part, you can see which way your A-axis, X, Y, Z, everything is moving and it, it worked fantastic. Without it, it would have been much more trouble than it ended up being.